Pew pew! Hi, I'm Stuck, and this is Bounty Thursdays. And I'm celebrating that we are approaching lighter times by not having my blinders down today. <laughs> shit happens. Sometimes you need to change it up a bit, right? Sweet. So first off, a quick disclaimer. Any tools, tips or tricks or techniques that you see on this show is for educational purposes only. And it's meant to be aimed towards cybersecurity professionals or people that are curious about cybersecurity. This is not criminal stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I got this book. So I got this book called The Pentest Blueprint, Starting a Career as an Ethical Hacker. And it's written by Philip L. Wiley and Kim Crawley. It's a really, really good book on uh, how you get started and inspirational ideas on what you need to know, you know, if you want to become an ethical hacker. Uh, I prefer the term hacker because I think hacking is not a crime. Hackers are hackers, criminals are criminals, period. But it's a, it's a really good book that talks about the beginning, the beginning thing that you need to know if you want to get started in pen testing and stuff. So if you haven't bought it already, I, I definitely recommend you to, to get it. And uh, kudos to the creators for sending me a copy. I'm very happy that I got that. So we need to talk about Alex Writer. I mean, it's so cool. And, and I love when things get really innovative. In, in this case, it's, it's kind of like a supply chain attack, right? He's, he's, he's really you know, finding, finding creative ways to mess around with um, NPM packages and you know, get access to organizations that just blindly installs these um, dependencies. I thought that was a really cool way to do it. And uh, if you haven't read his write-up, it's, it's over at Medium. So definitely uh, give that a go. My favorite open source crew, uh, Project Discovery, is going full time. It, it's so cool. They, they just secured $1.7 million in funding uh, to take their tooling to the next level. So everyone that's involved in that Congratulations, well done. Uh, I use a lot of your tools on a daily basis and I know a bunch of people that do that too. So, congratulations. They, it, oh, it's so cool. Congratulations. So Rogue SMG has been starting to uh, release some videos called the No BS Guide. And the last one I saw was the top six browser extensions for bug bounties. And it's just straight to the core. <laughs> These are the tools you need. This is what they do and no BS. So if you're interested in digging into this new series, I would suggest that you head over to Rogue SMG's um, YouTube channel and check out the new, the no BS guide. So if you ever felt like you want to collaborate with someone or you have this thing that you couldn't solve by yourself, hey, then we got findhunters.com, which is a way to find other bug hunters and collaborate. I love the idea around this. It could be very, very useful. If people started to actually put stuff in there, uh, I think it could be a very, very interesting way to collaborate. I mean, there's tools and then there's tools, but <laughs> you can't blame it on the name though. Now the host is mine, N-T-H-I-M. It's a super fast subdomain takeover detection tool. I have no idea how this works. I'm not into subdomain takeovers, but I just had to talk about it. Like now the host is mine. And if this is something that you're interested in, and, and maybe you think that um, you're the wizard of subdomain takeovers, maybe it's worth adding to this build. Who knows? Give it a go and check it out at least. So you're looking into automation. You want to make things go faster. You want to things go brrr. That's what you want to do. Then check out Reso's write-up, or it's not a write-up, it's more like a blog re related to bash aliases and command line tools. It's really, really sweet. A way for you to um, understand the mindset of how you think, should think about using bash aliases. Because sometimes we end up do, writing the same thing over and over again, and all we want is to hey, poke at that domain or fuss that or uh, find a domain for that. It's a very, very easy way for you to 
automate your own process by using aliases. So if you're on a Linux system or OS X or something and you want to play around with bash aliases, check out Rezo's blog post. So Renva just dropped their university project a tool called XXSTRON. It's an electron-based JS browser to find vulnerabilities. And I really like this kind of things. People that build on stuff and share the process, it, it's of course it's a work in progress, but but it's a it is a browser that you install and you you crawl a website or you walk the website normally and it, it has a, a set of um, payloads that it will fire off that you can edit and you it seems like a cool, innovative project. I haven't had time to play around with it, but it's definitely something that I'm willing to look into because any kind of innovation that when people are doing something different, uh, I like that. And this could be one of those things for, let's say you do an internal pen test or something, you're not having burp, I don't know. Maybe it's an option for something, uh, but I like it and I like the innovation. So thanks for sharing your project with us, Renva. And uh, if you're interested in this, I would definitely uh, recommend you to um, check it out. And this episode is sponsored by no other than amazing people over at Integrity. If you want to hack on the leading European uh, bug bounty platform and get paid in euros, I would suggest that you head over to um, the Integrity website and sign up using my sign up URL. That's, that's a smart move because then the people over there will see that I generate traffic and they will go all happy. If you haven't signed up already, so use that one. I mean... It's just an awesome platform and you definitely should check it out. And if you're not subscribed to their newsletter, you should do that too. And follow them on, they, them on Twitter and everywhere because it's, it's a very community-based um, platform. And I'm very, very happy that those guys exist and take time to sponsor my show. Thank you. Thank you very much for the work that you do. So I did two polls the other day, and um, one was on Twitter and one was on, on YouTube, where I asked the question, is AI going to kill the security industry? She was fast. And with over 1,300 votes on YouTube, 24% said yes, but uh, amazing number, 76% said no. And over on Twitter, we had over 4,000 uh, votes, and 21% said yes, and 789 said no. So it's a clear number here, at least uh, the way I can see it, no. AI is not going to kill the security industry and uh, yeah, you're, you're kind of safe in what you're doing because the takeaway here is that pe people needs to train AI and AI is not even remotely close to being on the level where we want it to be. It, it, it's good at finding some uh, novel or in, uh, some low level bugs or, you know, maybe finding some XXS payloads and stuff. Uh, I think that's automatable. And anyone that's built automation know how hard it is. So, and it needs to be trained continuously. Otherwise it'll just go crazy and turn into a Nazi bot on the internet. So no, you don't need to worry. And uh, as long as you're not doing a monkey's job and you're here to think creative and and change the status quo and doing some other things um, i wouldn't be worried and so start building your own ais and uh and have a good time finding bugs at the same time mm -mm. and once again thank you everyone that's a part of the vibe squad you guys are amazing i love seeing your comments in the comments below i love seeing your um your when you're tagging me and stuff on twitter eh, and liking the stuff on instagram i'm, I'm so grateful for ev each and every one of you and uh, i'm so proud of you you guys are amazing and thank you for being part of the Vibe Squad. So the first virtual live hacking event of the year, H1 2102 is over and the award winners are first place, Ron Chan. Second place, Rhino Raider. And the best team collaboration goes to Javorski's Broskis. And Exterminator, best bug, Ron Chan again. Most valuable hacker, again, Ron Chan! So, yeah, it's amazing. You know, 
I love live hacking events. Virtual live hacking events they are almost as cool. They aren't as cool. There is almost as cool, but the kind of bugs that are being delivered on these events where you need to work under high pressure, think creatively and find things in things that's been tested over and over and over again is amazing. Uh, so hats off for everyone that competed and thank you Hacker One for throwing yet another awesome event. So Bounty Thursday is going to be released every other week now. It's been that for a while. Sometimes I do it every week. It kind of depends, but at least have your vision put in that it's going to happen twice a month at least. I might just starting to posting some of the earliest things that we did and, and releasing Hack Couch again and some of that stuff that I have lying around on, on my Gnosis uh, and things that haven't been released. I still have a lot of video to edit from uh, from last year's live hacking events that hasn't been released. Uh, shame, me, uh, shame on me for not doing that. But if you want to interact with the stuff that I do, I would suggest you head over to Twitter and you uh, follow Stoke Frederick. You can interact with me there. If you want to see behind the scenes stuff of my life, my hacking, my editing and the things that I do, uh, check out the stories that I put out on Instagram. And if you want to support the things that I do and hey, throw some cash my way, become a Patreon. And uh, that way you can support the things that I do. Um, other than that, Thank you for watching the show and uh, stay curious.